Settle back now, content, comfortable, well-fed, and ready for some fine entertainment. Is everybody happy? Then let's go. It's showtime. I must ask you a question, but I'll shave it for later, because it's Tiki Tuesday. It is Tiki Tuesday, and we are live at the unnamed Tiki Bar. We don't have a name for it yet, do we, Kiwi K? No, we don't. Jungle Jair here, and we are ready to make some drinks. i got Kiwi K over there in the chat room, ready to take your questions. Uh, and i got a brand new setup here, kind of brand new. Different uh, screens here. When you send in a super chat, you're actually going to, uh, which way am I going? I'm going over here. Uh, you'll likely get your uh, chat message right up there on the uh, side of the screen right next to me and we are getting ready to make some really good drinks. I've got three drinks I want to do tonight if I can get to them all. We're going to do the Hurricane, we're going to do a Key West Kiss that we picked up down in Florida and we're going to do the Cobra Spang. I want to show you what this looks like here. We're going to transition this over right here. Take a look at that. This is a really nice tiki mug. I got it from Lost Temple Traders. It's actually 63 of 200. It was a limited edition run, and it has got some exquisite detail to it. You got the cobra popping out, and it goes all the way around, actually. Very, very nice there. So we're going to be doing the cobra's thing in that. And we've also got, let me go back to the three. I am also the director, so just so you know, <laughs> i got to do it all. <laughs> um, but uh, we're doing a giveaway tonight, too. Got the indoor-outdoor thermometer with the uh, base unit for the inside. That way you can keep an eye on your plants in the wintertime. We're going to give that away along with a Tiki Gardener bumper sticker. And we've got all of our entries in the Scorpion Bowl. We're ready to go. We're going to do that tonight, too. So thanks for joining us. Let's get with it. <laughs> Tonight I have my ice bag, too, by the way. And first thing we're going to do is I've got everything ready to go here. We're going to get some ice in the bag. How's everybody doing? How many we got in there right now, Kate? Six. Hey, hey, hey. Six is better than five. It is. <laughs> This, ladies and gentlemen, is a Lewis bag. And this is the best way to crush your ice. Much better than that towel I was using last week. Are we lagging any? I'm seeing some lag on the screen. Just a little bit, yeah. Just a little bit of lag. All right, let me go in here and see if I can fix that uh, just a tad. I want to check uh, my YouTube settings real quick. Not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Uh, this is our second live stream, so... Hopefully it won't be like a complete train wreck, but I'm going to get in here and mess with some settings real quick and see if we can fix that output there. So that, that means I need to... $25,000. Okay, that's what I need to know. Let's go down. This is about to get better, I think. Once I get this plugged in right here, we're going to apply that. And go, okay. Much better. There we go. All right. So, first thing we're going to do is crate up our ice here. Can't beat it with a stingy stick, but you can beat it with a nice mallet. go. And for the hurricane, you guys might want to follow along here. I've actually got a little graphic for you here. Let me do A director so bad <laughs> all right 
So the first thing we're going to do is two ounces of light rum. Oh, that's good stuff right there. Next up is the dark rum. You can use Bacardi Gold. That's just fine. I am going to use some Appleton Estates. This is their signature blend. It's a Jamaican rum, and it's just a yummy. Thank you, ma'am. The joys of live television. <laughs> or internet vision. Inter inter vision. Internet vision. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, two ounces of dark rum. Or two and a half. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Man, we need some passion fruit juice. I can just feel the passion. Mm, that's good stuff. And then, half ounce of lime. Live television, you gotta love it. About a half ounce here. There we go. And I have that hand there. Next up, simple syrup. We're gonna do a half ounce of that. No, it's one tablespoon. And you told me last night a tablespoon is actually a third of an ounce. Is that right? Yes. Okay, so we'll do that. All right. Next up, one tablespoon of grenadine. I'm going to put a little bit into it. Actually, you know what? We'll do the grenadine afterwards. Now, time to give it the old shaker shaker here. Let me get over to that right there. Main shot. Here we go. It's blowing my doors off. It's a hurricane. <laughs> All right, now then, we've got a little bit of ice there. Put that in, and I'm going to get some more fresh ice. Actually, you know what? It'll be fine. Uh, oh, this is the fun part. Boys and girls, this is a nice little science lesson. When you shake stuff and it gets cold, the air contracts, and that's why these things are hard to get off. If I didn't have that in the way, you'd have a nice little shot there. That looks good right there. Mm -mm -mm. Now, the grenadine. I make homemade grenadine. Um, the, the stuff you buy in the store, the, I'm not going to mention the name, but it's like bright red. You can see right through it. It's basically water and sugar and uh, yeah, a red 40 uh, color. This is the real thing. It's actually made from pomegranate juice. Uh, I will do a video on how to do that eventually, but what I'm going to do here is I am just going to drizzle that down in here, like so. One of the things they recommend when you, uh, when you make this is to use hibiscus leaves, dried hibiscus leaves, to give it a better, richer color. I think it's fine, actually. Um, that looks pretty doggone good there. Yeah. That's good stuff. Certainly is. Alright, so now then, let me do this right here. Bring it over here. Let you take a look at that. Are we going to garnish it? We are going to garnish it. That is coming up now. So what we're going to do here... Yeah, I'm going to go to the two shot real quick. That way you can look straight down. Well, we're working on the fly here, folks. <laughs> I'm going to transition over to that and I'm going to take an overhead shot here. We'll make our garnish with an orange. There's 
I just love digging into these uh, nice wet little. This is the reason you get a bar spin, folks, right here. Well, I bet some of that cherry juice would be just fine in there. Alright, now watch this. I'm going to try not to get all sticky. I'm going to go into there. There we go. And then, now I'm going to go right into here, like so. And I think we'll be good to go here. Let me transition this back to a three shot. Back that up just a hair. Stick that in right there, and there you have it. Open the three, and you are on the three. I think I main. You guys, let me know in the chat. There we go. That's a little better. Ladies and gentlemen, the hurricane. And what do you say we put a little, uh, how about pineapple? Stir in there. A Kool-Aid Maluna. What does a that mean? Kool-Aid Maluna. Bottoms up. Oh. It's very fruity. Part of it might have something to do with all the grenadine settling to the bottom. Let me do that right there. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. I need a second opinion though. I don't know anyone that would want to give you one of those the way I can. <laughs> Thank you. She's real, uh, she loves getting in front of the camera, can you tell? <laughs> oh, yes, that's good. What do you think? You like that? I think you need more practice. Make another. <laughs> <laughs> Rich Salazar, hello there. Thank you for watching tonight. You need some practice. Well, now I've got to make me a drink because I'm very thirsty now, see? Okay. Extremely thirsty. Okay. So, let's do that. Now we're going to make the old Key West Kiss. This screen. There we go. We came across the Key West Kiss at a hotel we were staying at in Orlando years ago. Bartender, they had a little pub and pizzeria in the restaurant. Bartender there, I told him, I said, I want something that tastes like Florida. And he thought for a minute, and he said, okay. He came up with this little concoction here. And bust up some ice here and we'll, we'll get it going. Going to get it going. Hey, uh, hey, do you know, uh, do you happen to know, you know I'm, I'm thinking about three different things at the same time here. Uh, <laughs> you know where typists go for a drink? No. Space bar. Hey, honey, come back. Oh, no. I thought it was good. Oh, well. Okay. Got our eyes in. And we're going to go to the top shot. Now, let me take the two. Yeah. There we go. And for this drink, uh, let me give you the quick little bumper here and show you what all is in this drink.
Let us make this happen here. First of all, I've got three ounces of pineapple juice. That's going to be two and one here. This really does taste like Florida. Yes, it does. <laughs> two ounces of orange juice. One half ounce of coconut rum, and oh lord, we're starting to run low on the, the cocoa rum. I don't know why. <laughs> you just went to the recipe. Huh? You just went to the recipe. That's awesome. You're way behind, honey. We got a delay. <laughs> uh, next up, uh, we're going to do a half ounce of vodka. Where's the vodka? Ah, I haven't been drinking that much yet. So, we'll take a three shot here. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. There we go. Half ounce of vodka. Sorry about that, y'all. And next is gold rum. This time I am going to use the Bacardi in this. Half an ounce of that. Hey, I'm wasting less liquor than how I drink at least. <laughs> it's still dry there. I love his channel. <laughs> and then finally, one ounce of Maduri. Midori. Midori melon. Um, yeah, pretend like this is Midori. Don't judge me. It was cheap. And I got a big bar to stock. Don't judge me. One ounce of Midori. This is going to have a nice little green tint to it. Green and yellow. Right. Giddy up. Time to shake it. Like Hemingway. Shake and loose a novel. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo. What are you laughing at? You. There we go. All right. We've got our tall tiki glass here and fill it with some more ice. It's gonna be so good. Gonna be so good. <laughs> yes. Q West, you can kiss me anytime. Now for the garnish on this, I want to do something a little bit different. I saw this. I have not received formal training on <laughs> most any of this stuff, but I think I can do it. So. This is a banana dolphin garnish that I'm going to try here. All right, so get an idea of what I'm doing here. There we go. We're going to make a dolphin. So the first thing I need is a dolphin's mouth. I'm going to clean it up a little bit here. There we go. I'm going to 
slice very carefully with a nice sharp knife here. There we go. Next up, we're going to slice it right off of there. I probably want to go a little higher than that. There we go. We're going to need some pineapple fronds for this. So, and then we're going to cut one more, like so, I think, yeah, that'll do, yeah, actually, you know what, I want it to look this way, there we go, that'll do that, alright, so, we need a couple of flippers, your flippers, <laughs> oh no, I lost my flipper, you wouldn't have seen Folks, I really haven't been drinking that much yet. <laughs> there we go. Now we're going to take one and put it up. Do the same thing to the other side here. The nice thing about the pineapples, once you get the uh, once you get the deal started, they'll shove right in. It'll slice that skin right up. And then we need to put one right there. So, now, it's almost a dolphin. Almost a dolphin. <clears throat> What's a dolphin without eyes? For that, we're going to use cloves. Where you at? There you are, right there. I'm going to take a couple of cloves here. No. This is a zombie dolphin. I only need two. Thank you. There we go. We're just going to make a couple little eye deals right here. Right here. And then that doesn't that look like a dolphin? Yeah, there you go. I love dolphins. We take the uh, side shot here. What do you think? I think it's almost ready. There's one other thing we can do though. He looks hungry. Yeah? I don't think he's hungry. Well, he's hungry. I think he just wants back in the water. <laughs> he's about to get back in the water. <laughs> and boy, is he going to be happy. <laughs> he's going to be so happy. <laughs> so one little touch here, just one. He needs a cherry. That's what he needs. What are you there? What do you think? Can you see that? Let me come back over here. They call him Flipper, Flipper. Now. Put it on the tray. Whoops, sorry about that, folks. Give him a little deal there. Maybe a. Oh, you know what? Let me do one of those right there. Well, uh, there it is. The Key West Kiss. Yeah, it'd probably been better with a banana daiquiri, but you get plenty of banana with a banana daiquiri. Now you got, some, got a little change up here, right? Exactly. By the way, there's Kiwi Kate over there. <laughs> and my whole setup right there. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to direct, see, right here. All of this stuff right here. I'm trying to change scenes and do all of that stuff. If anybody out there wants a free job where they don't get paid, uh, just inquire at uh, Tiki71 on uh, Facebook. Uh, 
or Instagram. There you go. <laughs> All right, let me get that camera set back up. Now we got to taste this thing. Uh, Kiwi Kate has already got hers, so it's my turn. So let's check this one out here. Going back over into. I think Christy Wiley is pretty impressed with your drink. Really? Well, thank you, Christy. I appreciate that. And Ben says that oh banana dolphins are the coolest. They are. Check that oh, out. Now that's pretty. Check that out right there. Right. Hang on, I'm going to come around. You need a full stretch out of this. Oh. Guys, that tastes just like Florida. Don't you think that tastes like Florida? I do, I really do. I think it's outstanding. <laughs> oh, just don't worry about it. Oh. I'm afraid I'm going to have to confiscate that. I think you've had enough. I really am. <laughs> That's just me in the wild. <laughs> This is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That is so yummy. And when you get done, you can eat the banana and people can't tell you've been drinking. So. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, that's good. That's very good. The Key West Kiss right there, folks. Anything else going on in the old chat there? I see we've got six people here. Well, that's why it's showing me right now. You're a little bit delayed there. Oops. All right. So here's what we're going to do. If you guys will give me just a couple of moments. I'm going to kind of clean up a little bit. We're going to come back and do the giveaway. Um, and then we're going to make the Cobra thing. So, I've got a little something here. Be right back after these. Hawaii has many faces, all calling to you. Come, paddle my quiet lagoons. Discover my miles of endless beach. Come walk across my volcanoes. Explore my mysterious caverns. Come play in my tropical wonderland. Come fly my airline to Hawaii. United, we built the largest airline in the free world. Come to my friend, fly the friendly skies. Come to my friend, fly the I don't know, I thought I'd try that. A uh, little Hawaii stuff there. All right, so it is time for a giveaway. Yay! Hawaii has many faces. What the heck? Oh. Oh yeah, I gotta fix that. Uh, I need a director. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, uh, we have got everything in the bowl here. We're giving away the Smargo SC92 uh, indoor outdoor thermometer and humidity indicator and a Tiki 71 bumper sticker. So I think I'm gonna have Kiwi Pete come up here and reach into the bowl here. We had uh, entries. Uh, uh, on the Facebook channel and also on the Facebook page. So, it is time. This has been in a jar, mason jar, under Funkin' Wagnall's pour since 5 p.m. today. And the winner is... Robert T. Bush, Jr. Yay, Robert! Congratulations, Robert. Uh, I'm going to get a hold of you on Facebook and get your address, and we will get this off in the mail to you. We thank you. And uh, thank everyone for, uh, for participating in, the, in our first contest. Uh, I will tell the rest of you guys, if, uh, if you would like a uh, Tiki 71 bumper sticker, I do have. I don't think I had audio there. I didn't turn it on. Uh, I've got a PayPal website, basically. Uh, if you want a bumper sticker with the Tiki Gardener logo on it and all the goodness that that, that offers, and tell everybody that you Tiki Garden, you can run over to our uh, PayPal site. It's paypal.me paypal slash Tiki71. I thought I'd do that instead of actually paying for a website and hosting and all that stuff and just do $5 on the bumper stickers and then pay the shipping. 
and because of the money that I'm saving by not doing that. So if you want a bumper stick, run over there. Be glad to uh, hook you up with one. Bless you. Zoom tight. Sorry. <laughs> have another drink. <laughs> okay. But I do have uh, more bumper stickers available there on the PayPal site. So the next thing we're going to do here is get a three shot going. We're going to set up here. Uh-oh. I got to get the... Oh, hold on. Look at that. Next up is the Cobra Fang. This one scares me a little. When I say scare, that's probably strong. It's a little strong. It doesn't scare me. But it's got a lot of 151, and that stuff is like jet fuel, you know? <laughs> Let me show you what's in the covers thing here. Uh, da, da, da. There we go. I don't know if you have audio or not. I thought I tested it, but I'm not sure. So I'm going back to this screen. You've got an ounce and a half of 151 or overproof rum and a lot of other stuff, the falernum, the passion fruit, a lot of things going on in this drink. Um, hopefully it's enough to balance out. We're going to find out here. <clears throat> I do have to work tomorrow. <laughs> My boss is watching, he knows that. So we're going to push up a little ice here. The recipe calls for seven and two thirds ounces of brushed ice. Specifically, two thirds. Seven and two thirds. That is correct. Now, ask me why. Why? You're supposed to blend it. Well, I don't want blend. However, however, I'm not going to blend it. I don't have a blender out here. What I'm going to do is shake it for 20 seconds until my fingers uh, freeze. So we'll do that. Okay. Probably so that all that ice loops <laughs> and tries to put the fire out. Ah, oh, it's going to be fine. It'll be all right. It'll be fine. Yes, it'll be just fine. One and a half ounces of overproof rum. I'm using Don Q. 151 here. All right. And I'm going to change out to a nice clean one here. 151. Ooh, lordy. That ice just instantly melted there. <laughs> Center here. Uh oh, I think I lost my overhead cam. Hang on just a second, I'm going to fix it here. And I need the overhead. There we go. Yep, I did. I'm about to fix that though. Give me just a moment here and I will get that fixed. Okay, when it does that. Okay, I guess I, uh, I guess I don't have that one right here. That's okay. No problem. We'll go back to the main cam, and that'll be fine. All right. Oh my gosh, I gotta hurry up before this ice all melts here. <laughs> all right. Next up is. One teaspoon of falernum. This has got all kinds of goodness in it. Uh, a little bit of almond, uh, some other good uh, things. And you told me earlier, one teaspoon is a third of an ounce? No. no, no. Two thirds. No, no. It's, it's even less. It's like a sixteenth of an ounce. five mils. That's plenty. 
Falernum. One teaspoon. And I'm going to show you this again here, just so we're on the same page. And I got it right there now. <laughs> A half ounce of passion fruit juice. Very passionate about passion fruit juice. Half ounce of orange. Orange, you glad you came by tonight. Hey, hon. Hey, what? Do you know why your nose can't be 12 inches long? Why can't my nose be 12 inches long? Because then it would be a foot. Half ounce of lime juice. <laughs> A half ounce. There. That's a lot of lime. One dash of bitters. I got a little Angostura right here ready to go. And then six drops of absinthe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a little bit of absinthe here we're going to put in. Six drops, it says. four and five, and there's six. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. I think uh, I've never had absinthe before. Aqua Delta? Uh, it might have been a... Pai Karate? No, this is like antiseptic-ish. antiseptic -y. Anyway, all right, so there is that. And then we've got our crushed ice in here. We are going to shake this thing for a good long time and let it all dilute and come together. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, everything. One little thing. It says a dash of cinnamon syrup. I'm going to call that one quarter ounce because that should balance stuff out pretty good. Time to kick some tires and light some fires. You count to 20? I am. As a matter of fact. I'm so counting. It was in place of blending, by the way. I'm wondering if you want me to tell you when I get 220, or do you want me to just not let you know? I think we're there. Are we there? Okay, we're there. Oh, good lord. All right. Now, go back to the old smartphone here. Doo -doo. Right. Yeah, that's good and frosty on the sides. So we are definitely diluted there. Any ice left? No, like five cubes. That's a shame. We have, uh, I accidentally turned off the ice maker earlier, by the way. Normally it'll make, it'll start throwing new ice out, what, every, uh, ten minutes or so? Yeah. 
So it was totally accidental. Mm. Anyway. All right, so I got some ice there. I guess we're going to use the ice in here and kind of wing it like we're doing everything else tonight. Here we go. Bring up and over here. Oh, that is wholly inadequate. <laughs> Would you like some ice? I'm missing some ice there. That's all right, though. You got more ice? Oh, the jungle view. Thank you, darling. I'm still short, though. Did I miss something? I don't know. Did you put in a alcohol in it? Well, yeah, I think I got plenty of alcohol. Did I put the orange I put it all in there, yeah. Uh, so, I'm just gonna knock some of that out. You're supposed to garnish this with a cinnamon stick. Um, since I've got a, oh, I made this orange just for, uh, <laughs> just for my own sake. Uh, so, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting, yes sir. I'm going to stab this thing with a long one here. I'm going to kind of sit up in there and be ready. No, you know what? I know what I was going to do. Change of plans. Change of plans. Yes. I got an idea. Out here. No, an idea. You're a real idea, man. <laughs> well, I'll try. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. Let me take over this other shot right here. I'm going to make a place in here. For a straw, eventually. Not at first, though. Because what the heck? This thing is going to be uh, it's going to be a fire breather anyway, right? So they say if you take a crouton, Smuggler's Cove came up with this. Take a crouton, soak it in some 151. It is far superior when it comes to having a flaming effect on your drink. So, let's do that. All right. Stand back, everyone. I am not a professional. Ha <laughs> 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 I've made fire. <laughs> you have made fire. I've made fire, yes. We turn the lights off here. Oh, yeah. Fire. Yeah. The cover's fang, ladies and gentlemen. All right, good night. Uh, oh, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta drink it. No, no. That's all right. I don't mind. Don't burn yourself. Well, it's a wooden straw, too, that you know? Seems, uh, At least it's not plastic. It seems like a bad idea. I don't know. Ah, it's bamboo. No, I think it's a bad idea. Yeah, it'll be fine. No. Huh? Well, what I don't want to do is burn the beer. <laughs> and that's what lighting does for you, folks. <laughs> okay. Being a flaming torpedo coming out of there. There we go. All right, folks, the Cobra's Fang. It has a smoky aroma to it. Huh. Very smoky. Interesting. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. The first thing that hits me. Is the line. 
Interesting. But it's also got the cinnamon. It's balancing out. I don't even taste the uh, the antiseptic. I mean, absinthe. Uh, <laughs> hey, the Wisconsin vegetable gardener wonders if there's a drink you like to make for others, but you really don't care to drink it yourself. That drink would be, I don't know, I like all kinds of drinks. My favorite drink is the pain, uh, pain colada. Love that drink. Um, and we've only had the bar for a few months uh, built, so I don't do Bloody Marys. Um, I don't do tequila. I had some bad experiences with tequila in my early 20s. It was bad. I think a lot of no tequila, none, none, nine, not happening. That's not bad. I am really uh, quite bitten by this. Oh. Man, I knew you were going to sneak another one in. What? What? That COVID thing. Well, if you had tried to tell me that I would enjoy that much 151 in a drink, I would have said you're on a lost crusade. Oh. And the hits just keep coming. That's good. I like that. That's not bad. As far as uh, drinks that I don't like to make, I don't mind making any drinks. Uh, no, the, but do you like to make a drink that you don't necessarily enjoy drinking? Um, that it's fun for you to make? Well, they're all fun to make. Um, that's the first time that I ever did the banana thing. I, I really like this banana. Uh, I'm going to put it right out here so you can kind of see it. There. What about the scorpion bowl drink? The scorpion bowl. Now, that's a great... Uh, that's fun to make. Yeah. It is fun to make. It's fun to light on fire and watch it go. The flavor, eh, I mean, it's okay. Uh, there are certain kinds of gin that really do taste like cologne, and I'm generally against that. But if we can balance out a dry gin with some other stuff, it's okay. I don't mind it in there. I can drink a scorpion bowl just fine. But do I like it? Not that much. Yeah, I like making it. Yeah. So, that, yeah, I guess there's a drink. Uh, so there you there. go, vegetable gardener. And let's see here. Who else we got in the chat tonight? Uh, let me take a look. Uh, I got sidetracked. Well, <laughs> that's uh, yummy right there. I kind of like that. Transition over. I don't know why the overhead cam went down, but it sure did. Work on this real quick here. Guys, give me just a second, I'll be right back. Hey, I'm already back. Uh, the things I come up with for filler, you know. What are you, what are you, what are you doing there? It's in the way. You can't of see you. your hand. It's in the way of the banana or the uh, dolphin it's is a, moving it's all on its own. It's in the way of your shot. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I like it. Cobra's thing. It's yummy. It's good. I do like it. Kind of like green eggs and ham. I do like it. After all. 
probably don't need the uh, burnt crouton now. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good there, guys. Uh, give that a try next uh, next chance you get. Give the uh, Cobra Spring a try. I think you like the Key West guess. Um, and the uh, the Hurricane, it's an old standby. You know, everybody likes a Hurricane. Uh, Kiwi, Kiwi except kind of except for the folks on the Gulf Coast right now. They probably uh, they could probably do without one. Uh, our uh, thoughts and prayers go out to everybody down on the Gulf. Uh, we're about to get influenced by that weather here pretty soon. Um, and I am in Nile right now, but I know they've also got to shut the pool down here pretty soon. And uh, and i got to start prepping for winter. I, I don't want to. But, uh, before I leave, I do want to uh, give you a uh, quick look. I've got all of the lights going tonight. So let me, uh, I'm going to switch over to the old uh, camera phone. This is a wireless cam. And you're not going to hear me here in a moment, which might be just fine for some of you. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'll give you a quick look uh, behind the scenes here and behind the mess. <laughs> That's what she looks like there. But check out the garden back there. I don't know if you can see it or not. I got the lights going. Looks pretty cool from right here. I'm kind of washed out. I'm going to move this camera extremely slowly. Give you a quick look. Things I do to live stream. <laughs> Here's a look at the back bar. Well, we got going on back here. back down nice and gentle like right there and take it back over to the main shot so here we are here we are Tiki Tuesday I had two drinks here uh, did you drink that entire hurricane no I left you some see yeah <laughs> yeah that's all right I got my cobra Anybody got any questions out there tonight? Uh, anything we can answer? Uh, if the live stream is over and you watch this later, I'm sorry for the production qualities. It's our second live stream. It's not a complete train wreck. Uh, we got we got one camera off the rails, but that's okay. Um, we do appreciate you coming by anyway. Uh, anything else going on, darling? No? Oh. Did you hear about the fire at the circus? Do I have to answer? It was intense. Oh, no, no. no. Mm. I do have a new one for you, though. Oh, no. Why does a duck have tail feathers? So it can cover his butt quack. Um, I think I told you that one. You did not tell me I that did. one. I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> Maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> I feel like I got an afterburner in my mouth now. Why is <laughs> that? <You> do. <laughs> I think you 7-1 clear for takeoff. <laughs> you brought your own fuel. <laughs> Oh boy. <clears throat> Do you know why polar bears don't get married? No. They have cold feet. No. No. Yes. yes. Uh oh. We lost the light there. Well, guys, that uh, just about brings us to the end of another Tiki Tuesday. I appreciate it. I hope you guys had a good time. I'm uh, sorry about the uh, technical snafus. We're going to get better at this. 
Uh, real quick, uh, I'm going to give you a couple of quick graphics on uh, the different drinks we made tonight. And let me slide over here. does want to know when we got into Tiki and how we got into Tiki. Who's that? S. Ben. S. Ben? Mm -hmm. Well, I would say uh, it was our trips to Florida, um, being under palm trees and all that, and just generally enjoying the, the laid-back atmosphere and style. And then we started tropical gardening, and then as a natural offshoot of uh, zone-pushing tropical plants here in Arkansas, I wanted to build a tiki hut out there because it's so out of place. It's just so weird. You know, in Arkansas, they have a tiki hut. Um, and then when I got to looking at the price of that just to build the hut and have the parts, you know, have it uh, built and then broken down and shipped in, I was like, ah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and then so I was like, hmm, I'll just convert the patio. And so we did the patio uh, back in January through March, built all of this. But generally in Tiki, we've always loved uh, Florida, palm trees. Uh, one of these days we're going to go to the, uh, the Pacific and, uh, and Hawaii and all that stuff. Uh, it's on the bucket list at least. Um, I just love the, uh, the culture and everything about it. It's so laid back and tropical and relaxing. But a lot of it is a creation, I know, of uh, guys that came back from World War II. Uh, but still. Even if it was just palm trees, sand, and rum, I'm in. <laughs> That's right. And I think you should tell them one more thing about the uh, dolphin garnish on their drink. Yeah. And how the cloves for the eyes kind of give you an aroma while you're taking a drink. Well, come over it and tell creates them. The because you're taking forever. I mean, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the things about tiki drinks, whether it's cloves uh, on the eyes of the dolphin or slapping some uh, uh, cement or hitting the uh, rim of your glass with it, it's it's that extra element and that extra layer that you get when you're taking the drink in that makes it so good um, when you really think it through. Uh, second time on a live stream, I may very well miss something uh, just because I've got so many moving pieces happening here. but. When you build a drink and you put all kinds of layers of complexity in and then you take a sip of it and you, you get the aromas and you get that flavor, it's so nice. And it's so relaxing. Particularly when you got a pool open. I don't know what we're going to do here in a month or so. I guess we'll just drink inside. <laughs> or we'll bring the heaters out here. Those heaters work. Yeah. Those outdoor heaters. Yeah, yeah that's, that's something to think about there it for is. sure. Um, all right, so I want to check something real quick here, guys, and give me just a moment. It looks like I've got that.
guys, I want to thank you for stopping by tonight. We do appreciate it. Uh, once again, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. Uh, it looks like Kiwi Kate is talking to somebody, so I'm going to hold off for just a minute. Uh, Ruby wants to know if we can modify these drinks for non-drinkers. And I was going to tell her, certainly. Yeah, get them orange juice. <laughs> certainly, you just leave yeah. out the alcohol and all the other flavors still combine to make a really tasty drink. That's like at Disney World, they do like a Dole Whip uh, right. for the kids. Um, you know, there, there are ways to do that. Uh, that's not what this is about here, though. <laughs> Ruby uh, is one of our, our favorite guests. Yes, absolutely. Um, but yeah, there we go. Guys, we appreciate it. Hope you have a great Wednesday. And, uh, and not much of a hangover in the morning. I hope I had the same. I want to thank you for stopping by. And if you have any questions, post them in the uh, comment section once the video is done. We'll do our very best to answer it. I'm going to try to stagger inside now and get all this equipment in without breaking. Thank you for it once again. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching.